Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ever since the pandemic ended about two years ago, you know, we thought we would see some of the craziness in the car market come down. But apparently that's not the case. I found a couple examples here for you. Let's get into it. So before we get into the craziness, I just want to go over some of the parameters I selected for this search. So there are 47 Camaros uh, for 2024 left on dealer lots. And as you can see, I've only selected the V8s, okay, for 2024. Uh, I added this max payment or max payment thing because I wanted to see just how high some of this craziness would get. But before we get to that, Let's see what's out there that's actually at MSRP and below. So you got um, some LT1s. Um, I'm going to sort of get rid of some of these SSs here in a minute. But um, there are some decent 1LEs out there that are, you know, uh, at MSRP. This one at Brissette Motors. Um, there's another one here. Uh, where is it? Now. I just want to take one second here and Rick Hendrick has got a bunch of these red SSs. I believe, and I don't know for sure because I haven't been following it, but if Andrew from Camaro cave was watching, maybe he can chime in and let me know. Um, I believe some of these Hendrick Camaros are the 40th anniversary uh, Hendrick edition cars uh, at 77 cause they're above MSRP and there's, there's one or two in here at 80, uh, 80,000. So I believe that they are the fourth anniversary cars, but I don't know for sure because it doesn't say, um, here's another one. And then here's where, here's where the craziness starts, um, is, uh, Hubner Chevrolet, I guess is how you pronounce it. Oh, by the way, I took my search from sort of the middle of the U.S. in Kansas City. It went 2,000 miles, so it should cover all of the U.S. There's 47 cars, okay? For whatever reason, Hubert Chevrolet has decided that this 2SS is worth $225,000, and it is just crazy to me. Well, and I'm not justifying this, but this is a Panther Edition 2SS. I'm not saying it's worth two two hundred and forty thousand because it's not. It's craziness, but you can sort of understand the craziness when it's a Panther. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. <clears throat> um, and Huber's had a, a, got a few of them. They have got another one. Here's some more of those Hendrick cars. Oh, sorry, those ones we just seen. Um. They got a Z01. <clears throat> um, and I, here's what I don't understand. Joe Basil, his one that we use for the cover, with his insanity, has got this Panther Z01 for $91,000. Okay? But if you go back... And you look, I'm just going to scroll down here. So just give me a second. Um, where was that car? Now I've lost track of it. Uh, give me a sec, fellas. Give me a second here. There it is, 91,000, okay? If you keep going down, for whatever reason, they've decided that this 2SS1LE should bring in $241,000. And I guess that, you know, for the longest time, I blamed Chevrolet and GM because, yes, it costs a lot more for stuff to be made. But, you know... And GM's not alone. Ford's having the same problem. Chrysler's having the same problem where stuff is way overpriced. But there's nothing special about that 1SS, excuse me, 2SS1LE. 
you know, I would expect insanity on a, on a Panther was that all one. I don't, uh, you know, I don't understand the logic in that, but here's the, you know, here, here's the, here where we find ourselves is that, you know, these cars are not selling. Okay. And what I do is I follow different channels on YouTube and I have, um, uh, I will share another link with you. If you go onto their website, um, they are, uh, they, they run this website called CarMax. So I'll share that with you in a second, but it will tell you how many days these cars have been on market. And like the average is like two or 300 days on market. So I don't understand what these guys, what the logic is with these dealers in the sense that why they're going way above MSRP. They think that somebody's going to walk in and hand them 240 grand for a two SS one LE. They're out of their mind. So searching the ZL ones again, same zip code. We went Kansas, went through the whole United States. This is strictly ZL one. There are four available and three are Panther cars, which surprises me that there's still three left. Uh, I don't know what this one is. This one is just a radiant red uh, automatic. So beautiful car, but nothing touch, right? And again, I know that this, I know some of you guys are not, are not, big fans of the Panther. It's just, again, it's just, it's a collector's car. Okay. So there's three of them available. One is, uh, at Joe Basil, which we'll click on that and we will see where, not that I would recommend anybody shopping there because of this guy and his crazy prices, but for whatever reason, it makes no sense. Has this one got a price on it? Yes, it does. Ninety-one four eighty-three. Um, let's see if I can see where it is. Anyways, guys, we'll put the links in the description. But I, you know what? I really want your feedback. Drop your feedback in the comments and let me know what you think about all this. I mean, to me, this is insanity. This is crazy. Like, not this car per se, but that one, that two SS one LE he's got sitting on that lot. I hope that thing sits there for the next five years for playing those kind of games. Like it's, you know, anyways, don't get me started. Um, Con Paulo Chevrolet, uh, no price. So it'd be interesting to see what he's going to sell that for. And um, this one has got no price. And it's at FH Daily Chevrolet Panther Car. Uh, it is an automatic. Um, I believe it's an automatic. Performance data and video. And this one has got, this one's a stick car. So that one must be a manual because this one's a stick car. Uh, okay, so be at PDB. Okay, so interesting. So for those that are you that are looking for uh, Zeta One Panther cars, then uh, there's three left. Put the links in the description for the V8 cars separately, and then the ZL1 car separately, and then we'll move on to the next one here. Uh, we had a, I had a couple of, I had a couple of, a uh, couple of you asked me about some of the lower end trims, so we're going to cover that quick, um, and we'll leave a link for that as well. So for those of you who asked me about the lower end trims, I specifically covering the two liter turbos and I know a lot of you are not a fan of it, but we do have followers of the channel who have asked me about this car and I'm going to look after them. So 
we got to keep everybody happy. We got to be fair. Okay. So there are 16 2023s right here, two liter turbos in the United States. Same zip code from Kansas City. Um, so if some of you are looking for a lower end tram weekend car, you know, um, then here, we'll put the link in the description for you guys. It looks like a lot of these are below MSRP. They're trying to blow them out. And as they should, they've probably been sitting on a lot 200 days. Um, and I will share the, uh, before we end this video, I will show you the, the uh, uh, sorry, the car edge link that I was going to tell you about. But uh, yeah, there's 16 two liter Camaros out there, all different trims. So if you're interested in something, hard tops, convertibles, if you're interested in one of those, there's where the deal's going to be, right there. So, Rain's Act, they have a channel on YouTube. Um, I follow their channel. Great, fantastic channel when it comes to the car market and all that. They have this website called Car Edge. And this uh, website is a fantastic tool if you're looking for... Uh, any kind of new car, not just Camaros. You can go in and change your filters and all that with your makes, your models, right? Break it down by your mileages. So I put in here 23, 24 with zero to 10,000 miles. And I got about four hits. Um, these are different trims, right? Um, this is a 2023. Uh, here's one here, 2024 1SS. Uh, it looks like it was a demo because it's got 2,500 miles on it. It's been sitting on a dealership lot for 305. It's 305 days on the market. So we'll put the link for Carridge um, in the description as well. But another great tool, you know, and I say this when, when we've done these videos, if you're going to go buy a new car, educate yourself. The more prepared you are when you go in to get that new car, the more ammunition you have to throw at the day and say, okay, look, you guys have had this car, you know, on the lot for, you know, 305 days. You know, surely you can do better than 58630. That's my point. So, guys, don't forget, if, you've ever, if, if you're new to the channel and you found any of this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up, okay? It really helps me out. Um, I do my very best to try and, and get you guys out content that you want. And and I know the last video wasn't didn't go over as popular as, or popular as I thought it might be, but you know what? We're going to continue on with that series. But I thought this one was kind of important for you guys to understand uh, what's going on. If, it, if you're still looking, if you're still on the fence and you're still looking for a new car and whatnot, these tools are great tools to help you do that. So really appreciate all the support for the channel. Um, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you, like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. And you'll get a note and hit that bell. So you get more notifications when we come out with more videos like this and others. Appreciate you guys very much. We'll see you soon.